Its shield is working to help homeless teens and families throughout southern Illinois and could use support from the community to further that mission. Brooke is with group leaders now with one last look. Brooke. Good morning, Evie. Well, I do want to talk about a fundraiser that they're having a little later in the interview, but first I want to go ahead and introduce you to Ashanti. She's one of the caseworkers for this new program that helps homeless teens right here throughout Southern Illinois. So Ashanti, I want you to tell me a little bit about your role in this because you're going out in the community and meeting with these teens. So with this new program, my main job and main role literally is to focus solely on the client. Um, a lot of times people assume that homeless individuals are in the situation that they're in because they're lazy or they don't want to do anything. But a lot of times it's just circumstances. Um, so being here at the Night Shield and being able to provide the services that they need and the resources is fantastic. I love it here. <laughs> and this program actually just started in February, but you've seen some progress with some of these teens already. So go ahead and fill our viewers in. So yes, yeah, since starting in February, we have a total so far of 25 clients that we have helped and that is still in care. Um, and basically, it's it has been challenging for a few, like keeping in contact with some um, as far as like them not being able to have a cell phone and things like that. But we've had um, clients be enrolled in college, in courses. We've had clients um, be able to move into their own apartments and be able to have that stability on their um, their own and create the independence that they need. And it's it's been really heartwarming in all honesty because I've never worked with um, homeless individuals before. So this is a new experience. And, and so really quickly, um, not only you guys are having a fundraiser to not only help this program, but that family av advocacy center that we talked about earlier on in this morning. So go ahead and tell people really quickly just about this fundraiser and how they can help out. So we will be selling um, T-shirts and mugs that will be available. Um, you can order them through Facebook. Just send us a message about, you know, your sizes and what you want. And then also on the 22nd, we will be having a concert here at the Night Shield with um, live music. And I will be performing, so it will be looking forward to it. <laughs> well, definitely sounds like a fun night, and that will also be streamed live on Facebook. And I'll have the information on our website a little later this morning. That's WSILTV.com under News 3 this morning. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, 